next we will see certain properties of laplace transform so the properties of laplace transform so what is the definition for laplace transform laplace laplace transform of any function f of t that is integration from 0 to infinity of the given function f of t multiplied by e to the power minus s t dt so this is the definition for the laplace transform of any function so in the last uh, example we have just seen that what is the laplace transform of some constant function this is nothing but k by s so if we have k as 1 so what would be the laplace transform of 1 so it would simply be 1 by x so this one should uh, remember this particular formula so next we shall see what is the laplace transform of e to the power a t so for that what we will do we will apply this particular definition so the definition says it is integration from 0 to infinity of the function e to the power a t and then e to the power minus s t as such d t so now we can combine the powers of this e because the base are same so we would have e and we would have minus s minus a into t d t so this is by combination so now we can perform this integration it, its integration would be e to the power minus s minus a into t as such and then division by the coefficient of t so division by minus s minus a and the limits varies from 0 to infinity so when you substitute we can take this term out because this term is constant right so it would be minus 1 upon s minus a and then here we would have e to the power minus s minus a into d and where what is this b b goes to infinity so this is the term minus e to the power minus s minus a into 0 so this is the second term so when you substitute this limit so you would have e to the power minus infinity so you would have e to the power minus infinity that would be 1 by e to the power infinity that would be 1 by infinity that would be 0 so this is the condition that you would have so from here you would have this as 0 minus and here what would you have you would have e to the power 0 that is 1 so you would have it as 1 by s minus a so the laplace transform so the laplace transform of e to the power a t that is 1 divided by s minus a so this is also one of the result that you should remember when you solve various questions for laplace transform so the next is what is the laplace transform of sin a t so now this is also very simple so for that we will apply this definition remember here the limits are from 0 to infinity so it would be sin a t multiplied by e to the power minus s t d t this is according to definition for laplace transform so now we have two formulas first formula is whether when you perform the integration of e to the power a x sin b x d x so that is e to the power a x divided by a square plus b square what is this a a is the coefficient of x present in this exponential term and what is b b is the coefficient of x present in the angle of this sine term so it is equal to e to the power ax as such divided by a square plus b square and then multiplied by a sin of bx minus b cos of bx the angles is the same bx here we have a and here we have b another formula is the integration of e to the power ax cos bx that is equal to e to the power ax divided by a square plus b square and then we have a into cos bx plus b into sin bx so that is the formula that we have 
so we can either apply by parts here in order to solve this or we can directly use this formula so here i will be directly using this formula so what do i have as after performing this integration so it would be e to the power minus st divided by the coefficient for this t here the integ uh, this integral is present with the variable t so we would have s square plus the coefficient of sine term that is a so s square plus a square and then i would have in brackets the term minus s sin a t and then minus a cos a t right so this is according to this formula that i have just applied and then we will substitute the limits from 0 to infinity so let us see what do we have so obviously this term here is 1 by s square plus a square this is constant so we will be left with e to the power minus uh, firstly when you substitute this limit so we will write limit uh, b goes to infinity e to the power minus s b and then this whole term right so minus s sin a b minus a cos a b right and then for the second term we would have minus e to the power minus s into 0 and sin of 0 is 0 cos of 0 is 1 so we would have here minus a right so here you would have e to the power minus infinity so this term would is going to again going to be 0 right so we would be left with this term only so a into what is e to the power minus 0 that is again 1 so we would have a divided by a s square plus a square so we got the formula for the Laplace transform of sin a t so it is simply equal to a whatever is this angle divided by s square plus a square so this is also one formula that you should remember in order to solve the questions so we, you could either go by uh, this definition all the time or you could remember this formula so that you can instantaneously apply this formula in order to solve the further calculations so next similarly when you calculate this Laplace transform of cos a t this would come out to be s divided by s square plus a square so let us see how this appears so when you take the Laplace transform of cos a t we will again apply this result uh, so firstly it will be the integration from 0 to infinity this cos a t as such and then e to the power minus s t d t this is according to definition for Laplace transform so now we will apply this formula e to the power a x and then multiplied by cos dx dx this is nothing but e to the power a x divided by a square plus b square multiplied by a cos dx plus or uh, plus b sin dx so this is the formula that we use so this term becomes e to the power minus st divided by s square plus a square and then we would have in place of a we have minus s so minus s cos a t as such and then in place of b we have a so we have plus a sin a t right and we have the limits varying from 0 to infinity so when you substitute the limits so when you substitute this limits here from 0 to infinity what do we have we have 1 by s square plus a square common being constant and then when you substitute limit b going to infinity e to the power minus s b and then you would have minus s cos a b plus a sin a b because we cannot directly substitute the limit infinity here and then minus e to the power minus s into 0 and then here minus s cos 0 plus a sin 0 what is sin 0 sin 0 is 0 so it is 1 1 by s square plus a square so 
what is this term let us have a look at this term so it would be e to the power minus infinity again so this term would be 0 and then minus of this term e to the power 0 is 1 so we would have 1 into minus s because cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 so we have plus 0 so these are the terms that we obtain so I can write this to be this minus and minus becomes plus so I have s divided by s square plus a square so that is what we got the Laplace transform of cos a t that is nothing but s divided by s square plus a square so next we have this linearity property so let, let us discuss the linearity property so this property says that the Laplace transform of some function a of f of t plus b of g of t this is what so discuss discuss the linearity property of the Laplace operator let, let me first discuss it about uh, the linearity property for differentiation operator suppose you have this the derivative of a g of x plus b f of x so it is you know because this is a linear operator this is a linear operator so this splits up so it becomes a into the derivative of g of x plus b times the derivative for f of x so similarly we know about this integ integration operator this is also a linear operator right it's also split into this linear factor so a say f of x plus b of g of x into d of x we have this quantity so its integration is nothing but a into integration of f of x dx plus b into integration of g of x dx so this is the linearity property for integral and derivative so now we will discuss it for this Laplace transform so for Laplace transform this property is also the same so that means we have a into the Laplace transform of f of t plus b times the Laplace transform of g of t so this is the Laplace transform property its proof is very simple what is the proof so we, if we take the Laplace transform of this function a of f of t plus b of g of t this is equivalent to integration from 0 to infinity this whole function a f of t plus b g of t plus b g of t e to the power minus s t dt now because integration is a linear operator so we can separate it so we can write this to be a into integration 0 to infinity f of t e to the power minus s t dt plus b integration from 0 to infinity g of t e to the power minus s t dt because integration is a linear operator this is a linear operator right so what does this become it becomes a this is the def definition for the Laplace transform of the function f of t plus b and what is this this is the definition for Laplace transform of g of t so this is what we were required to prove so this is the linearity property for this Laplace transform next we, we will find what is the Laplace transform of this function sin hyperbolic a t so first of all you should know what is this sin hyperbolic a t this is nothing but it is e to the power a t minus e to the power minus a t divided by 2 and what is this cos hyperbolic a t it is defined like this e to the power a t plus e to the power minus a t divided by 2 so this these formulas you should note so for uh, what would be the Laplace transform of this particular function so it would be equivalent to 0 to infinity uh, sin hyperbolic a t e to the power minus s t dt right so now you can substitute the value for this sin what is this value e to the power a t minus e to the power minus a t divided by 2 into e to the power minus s t d t right 
So, you could either perform this integration one way, another way is you could write this to be the lead, uh, Laplace transform of e to the power a t minus e to the power minus a t by 2. Now, what you can do? You can apply this linearity property. So, you could apply this linearity property here. So, this is according to definition. So, by definition, you could perform this integration. So, its integration would be 1 by 2 as such e to the power a t divided by a and then minus e to the power minus a t divided by minus a and I uh, am sorry. Here firstly we will club all these uh, values e to the power minus s minus s minus a into t and here you would have e to the power minus a minus s into t d t. So, now you can perform this integration from 0 to infinity whatever result you get will you can match it with this part. So, once you have returned this sign uh, by according to second definition once you write the given sign hyperbolic function in terms of exponential functions. So, you can apply this linearity property it would be 1 by 2 the Laplace transform of so, 1 by 2 the Laplace transform of e to the power a t and then minus 1 by 2 the Laplace transform of e to the power minus a t and you know what is the Laplace transform of e to the power a t. We have just written this to be 1 by s minus a. So, the Laplace transform of this quantity is 1 by s minus a and then we have minus half then the Laplace transform of this would be 1 minus s minus a. What is a? a is minus a here, right. So, the Laplace because we had here it would be here it was a t. So, we have minus a here. So, for, for plus a in the left hand side we have minus a here. So, plus a would be minus a and minus a would be plus a. So, it would be 1 by 2 and then 1 by s minus a and then we would have minus 1 by 2. 1 upon s plus a. So, we could simplify this 1 by 2 take up the LCM. So, it would be s square minus a square divided by s plus a minus s minus a. So, here this s and s cancels. So, we would have 2 a divided by 2 s square minus a square. So, this 2 and 2 also cancel. So, the final result is a divided by s square minus a square right. So, the formula for this Laplace transform of sin hyperbolic a t is nothing but a divided by s square minus a square. Similarly, we can calculate the Laplace transform of cos hyperbolic a t. So, firstly we will convert this into the formula exponential formula. So, e to the power a t minus e to the power my, uh, e to the power minus a t divided by 2. So, now we can use this linearity property. So, Laplace transform of e to the power a t and then plus half the Laplace transform of e to the power minus a t. So, again we can use that formula. So, the Laplace transform of e to the power a t is 1 upon s minus a and then the Laplace transform of e to the power minus a t is 1 upon s minus minus a. So, we have 1 by 2 and then we can take the LCM. So, it would be s square minus a square divided by s plus a plus s minus a. So, this a and a got cancelled. So, we would have 1 by 2 into 2s divided by s square minus a square. So, this 2 and 2 get cancelled. So, we have the Laplace transform of cos hyperbolic a t that is equivalent to s divided by s square minus a square. So, this is the final result that we obtain from here. So, I hope this all these formulas the Laplace transform of cos a t, Laplace transform of sin hyperbolic a t and then you have uh, the formula for this linearity property and then we would have we had this formula of cos a t s upon a s square plus a square sin a t is a upon s square plus a square 
then the laplace transform of e to the power a t is 1 upon s minus a the laplace transform of constant is k upon s and the laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s and we obtain all this formula using this particular definition so i hope this uh, this thing is clear to you all